Good morning, or whenever you get this, I'm Pastor Jeff, Fairview Church. I have some announcements for you today, and I got some notes here to keep me going here. But um, I have several announcements. First, a word of pastoral encouragement. I'm going to talk a little bit today about some worship changes. And I just, I was reading this past week, and I want to pass on to you from 1 Chronicles 13. Did you know that um, worship can be both a time of reverent awe, even, even a healthy fear of the Lord, as well as a time of exultant joy? When uh, David and his people were transferring the Ark of the Covenant, which was the most holy item in Old Testament Israel, while they were transferring it, at one point a guy touched it on accident. He was immediately, his life ended. And uh, when that happened, we were reminded that, that God is holy and we are to treat him as serious and holy in every way in our worship. But also in that same passage, you had exultant joy. People were coming to carry the ark and they were so happy it says in first chronicles 13 8 it says david and all israel were rejoicing before god with all their might with song and lyres and harps and tambourines and cymbals and trumpets the presence of god is not just holiness that brings us in awe and reverence but also a holy presence that brings us great joy so my hope is that our worship ought to be a mixture of holy reverence and also a time of great joy in who God is and what he's done. So speaking of worship, when you come to worship, our, your first thought is about God, always. But then also there's some practical things we have to consider. So we have a couple changes. First, the major primary single change is that we're changing the format. And by the way, you might see people going behind me. They're finishing up a, an event here at the church. Um, thankfully, we're able to have people back to our church. But first, about worship. We long to have everyone able to worship the Lord God and um, in, in a way that honors people and cares for people and protects them. And so we are adjusting our Sunday format a little bit with some wisdom from some other churches as well. Um, we're going to keep the format of an early and late service, but the early service will now be for all of those who need a little bit greater protection. Uh, we would encourage you to come to this service if you are, for example, a senior, uh, a senior member of our church. Or if you're someone with any greater vulnerability to the virus or maybe you have somebody close to you that you want to be even more careful with um, in, in protecting them or maybe you're someone who has a personal conviction about the safety that needs to be met we encourage you to come to the first service or you might just be somebody who wants to come to an early service at 9 a.m so that will be our morning service masks will be strongly encouraged but I would also tell you, if you look around in the in the church and you're here and there's not a whole lot of people, if that's the case, and there's enough space between you and others, I would say you, you're free to pull down your mask and sing and things like that. But again, that's up to you. Um, but our late service at 1045 will remain at the same time, but uh, and all the precautions we've had will remain in place, except as it relates to masks, uh, masks will be suggested, perhaps even recommended, but not required for worship. You may come and you may worship. Um, we will still be keeping other precautions like sitting at a distance from one another with every other row and we'll have um, sanitation, sanitizing solution available and, uh, and also after the service if you can um, exit soon after to socialize. That is helpful. Um, but some other, so that's the main announcement. That starts this coming Sunday, Sunday, June 28th. But I have some good news now. And I have some good news. June 28th is a day where we get to welcome, finally, some new members who have been waiting for a long time to profess their faith in Jesus Christ and to enter the membership of Fairview Church. That's going to start this Sunday in the 1045 service. Please be assured, I did everything I could to try to put together an outdoor service but it just fell through because I wanted to have everybody there. But it will be during the 10.45 a.m. service. Um, also, speaking of new members, we have other new members coming to worship 
uh, to uh, declare membership uh, in our church through vows, and that's on July 12th. We'll welcome, finally, our communicants class, which they normally are made members of the church on Palm Sunday, but we've had to wait because of COVID, and we finally get to receive them as members, full members of our church before we take the Lord's Supper in August. So these are some um, main announcements. I will continue to encourage you on Wednesday nights. We have our family nights. Tomorrow, we're gonna keep it at 7 p.m. for, for prayer, but, uh, but youth and children's ministry are both at 6.30 p.m. And then in the following week, all those will be at 6.30 p.m. Every Wednesday night, I encourage you to come. And I would encourage you too, to take advantage of our Sunday school taking place on Sunday mornings as well, which we send out information for. God bless you. I hope that when you come to worship God, you come to think of Him first, His honor, His glory, His holiness, and then it leads you to a solemn solemnity that at times might make you silent before Him, but then a, a holy presence that also makes you full of joy that this God has come to be with you. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you again. I'll see you later. Bye.